So about this time last year, I was living in the bus on my brother's curb in a mad dash to get a few last projects done before I took off for the summer. If that sounds familiar, it's probably because I'm in pretty much the exact same situation now. Different brother, different projects, different summer plans, but a lot of similarities nonetheless. However, I think I'm in a much better position this year than I was last year. For one thing, I've spent a good chunk of the last year living and or traveling in the bus. The handful of pickles that I got myself into last summer were the kind of things that had I known what was gonna happen beforehand might have caused me to just call off the whole plan. But now that they're behind me, they kind of just add to my confidence that I'm not gonna say that I can handle anything, but I think that I can handle some things. And on top of that, the things that I was trying to wrap up last summer were really important. I was trying to make sure that I had running water and doors that locked and just some semblance of storage space so that all the piles and piles of stuff that were sitting on every surface could be put somewhere else. This time around, I have a few days left until I'm supposed to leave. And my main focus during those few days is just gonna be to make this kitchen area prettier. I'm not gonna say that's not important, but it's something that should I fail to get it done, I can probably survive without. So that's the goal for this video. I wanna tackle the spaces in this kitchen that are still a little unfinished, still a little messy, still a little ugly, and get them as close to finished as I can manage. My kitchen is feeling like a kitchen again for the first time since last summer and really it only felt like a kitchen on the best days last summer. Still plenty of work to do but yesterday I took these down so that I could put this in and also just put these back in better because I did this myself last summer really quickly through this in here so that I could survive in the mess that this bus was and I'm of two minds about this update because on the one hand, it's so discouraging when I take my time and actually build things with care and I think they're really nice and then they still end up looking like crap because I'm working against the stuff I did two years ago. This is what my brother said. He helped me with the cabinets yesterday. And when we first put them in, I was immediately frustrated that it looked so bad. He was like, you gotta remember, even though you have a little bit of skills now, that doesn't go back and fix all the stuff you did when you had absolutely no skills. <laughs> It is what it is. On the other hand, this makes it feel so cozy in here. I don't know why. I, I kind of was thinking it was gonna make it feel cramped and cluttery because it's taking so much of what has been counter space over here, but I think it makes it feel so cozy. It's making me motivated to fix these up, get this ugly paper off, you know, do my painting and stuff. Maybe I'll do that today? I don't know. I think this is the only paint I have that didn't get totally messed up over the winter. I don't know why that is, but I'm grateful. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. I love it. It's totally motivating me to do more little stuff that doesn't matter, but it's gonna make everything pretty. Right now, the plan is to leave on Sunday. There is some flexibility with that, but not a ton. Today is Wednesday evening, which means that I basically have three days to finish 
everything that I want to be done in here before I hit the road. So I'm gonna start with my cabinets. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I put in the drawer slides a little bit wrong so that the spacing's all messed up. I need to fix that. So I'm gonna start there. Okay, I don't know why I've been thinking that was gonna be such pain. It was very easy. My calculations are correct, meaning if I haven't forgotten anything while I've been staring at this with my eyeballs, I should have the room I need to put the little spacers in here so I can put the drawer faces over that. But I don't have the supplies for that, so it's time to move on to something else. I started painting these cabinets the other day on a whim, on a day when I could not motivate myself to do anything, and it got me so excited to see this kitchen done. I feel like just like having these orange, even though they're not even done, has warmed it up in here so much and made it like so cozy. So excited. Well, I gave up on the paper towel holder, but regardless, I got a lot more done than I was expecting to today. I don't know why it is that working on stuff feels so much less like work when I'm outside of like regular work hours, which means nothing because I have no regular work hours, but like, like today, I already did a whole project earlier this morning and this kitchen project in my mind is three days starting tomorrow, so today doesn't even count. And I was just like, yeah, this is great. I'm having a great time. Whereas if this had been an actual day of the real project, I would have been so annoyed to have to work on it, I think. But today it was like, oh, 5 p.m. I'll get nothing done today and suddenly it's nine and I have accomplished way more than I thought and I'm feeling really good about tomorrow. Anyway, I gotta go help Alyssa with a project at her house, but I'll be back tomorrow for the real start of the kitchen project. <laughs> The girls had a tiling crisis last night. I was over there till midnight, but it's okay because the crisis was averted. And I am gonna get excited for today. Last night I was excited, so just, you know, work my mood up a little bit, I think. Oh, I was gonna cook something, but it might be a cereal kind of morning. I'm 
glad that worked so well. I was not at all sure that it was going to. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna try to make just an open shelf here. Twenty-five and a half. Twenty-five and a half. Twenty-four. Hmm. It's really envisioning this sitting on here. Should I make it bigger, or is that going to be too big? I think I'm going to make it bigger. Gosh damn. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The thing you don't know is that I just walked back in the door from Home Depot buying a new one of these, because the one that I bought earlier, right before that, I got home and realized it was the crappiest piece of wood I've ever seen. And now I'm not even going to use this. <laughs> I think I need a lunch break. Ah! I think that's better. It just started pouring and is very tempting to use as an excuse to stop working and finish this really good show I started watching. <laughs> But no, no time for that. Just to find my way. I was helping Carolyn tile the other day and she had just like a wet rag to wipe up the, the thin set when it got messy and stuff. And it was mind blowing to me. It was like it never occurred to me that there could be such a simple method to not being so terribly messy all the time. Well, as usual, could be better, but it'll probably work. worth the four Home Depot trips. <gasps> oh. Do you know what I think I should get for this? Is a house plant. That would make me a real grown up. I've just been staring at the shelf because it's so beautiful. But I'm gonna move on. Time is ticking here. This is a good example of last night I felt like I was getting so much done just because the pressure is off I guess and now it's already 3 p.m. I feel like I've done so little except just drive back and forth to Home Depot. <laughs> the heck? I don't know why I'm surprised by this. Gonna just pretend that was on purpose then. I have a feeling this part is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Which is why I should just try to get it over with now. Eleven and eight.
there's something to be said for making things perfectly straight. What that is, I don't know because I have never done that. But I feel like there's also something to be said about making things crooked in just the right way that they appear sort of straight against an even crookeder background. <laughs> Crazy how yesterday morning I didn't have that pretty drawer. Wow. I love it here. Once again, I am up way too early for how late I stayed up last night. But it doesn't matter. I'm actually so excited to get to work today. Um, I clean up everything really good after I finished working yesterday. I don't know. I sound like a broken record talking about how much better my attitude when this is when this space is clean, but it's true and it's crazy. I'm just excited that this is finally getting finished enough that it can even be clean in all areas at once. Not that I'm just going to be tidy and organized from here on out or anything. I know most people will disagree with me, but I stand by letting a construction zone get to a certain level of chaos before cleaning up really good. Makes sense to me. We had a little goodbye party last night. Which doesn't actually make that much sense for me because I haven't lived here in a year. But Carolyn is moving away after a long time. Carolyn's coming with me this summer. Have I said that? I feel like it was probably obvious even if I didn't say it. I've been really into, I like to call it toddler breakfast because it was inspired by my two-year-old nephew and how so many of his meals are just like a few little piles of individual food items rather than like any actual dish. Hello? <gasps> anyway, it's so good and so easy and so like, I wanna say filling, but I feel like that's the wrong word. It's like, I feel like I get some actual like good calories into my body, you know? I don't know why adults don't eat like this more often. <laughs> so today is the last day that I had planned for this kitchen project. And honestly, right now, finishing today seems very manageable. It's actually insane. I feel like this was a totally different room yesterday. I think I need to go back and watch the video and see if there's like an extra day that I worked on this that I forgot about because it seems impossible that this all happened so quickly. You taught me how to love and now you say that we're through. Don't be angry with me. Should I cry? Dream. As years go by now and then. Oh my gosh, I was dreading that so much. That was literally so easy. I'm a fool, such as I. Great. to add some braces but I think it's gonna be fine for now for what I'm gonna use it for and they don't have any at Home Depot that would fit so you know what this means all I have to do is make a door for this finish this and I'm pretty much done means I have to go back to Home Depot though it's like 6 o'clock p.m. I just went to Home Depot and bought fingers crossed the very last 
full sheet of plywood I will need for this bus build, I think, which is crazy. Now it's raining a tiny bit and I'm feeling extremely unmotivated to finish this kitchen, which is silly because there's so little left to do and I've been doing so well. Like nothing's, I'm not discouraged or anything. I just think that I am so tired. Like I said, it was a late night last night, but I think also mostly I'm just, there's been a mad dash these past few days getting like the closet and the kitchen and Carolyn's house and I am tired. That's all there is to it. So I can't decide if I'm going to gather my willpower and try to get this stuff done right now or if I'm gonna shift gears and do some of the like littler tasks, non-kitchen stuff that I was just gonna do tomorrow and then finish the kitchen tomorrow. Loving this though. Okay, I'm so glad I finally got that done. And I'm also so, 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 so tired. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Do like, you know, an hour or two of self-care. And then I'm gonna decorate in here and really make it look nice. Overboard on the house plants. I was gonna start out with like one or two, see if I can keep them alive, because I never have before. And now I have five, and I've been spending a little time this morning trying to Google how much sunlight and water all these different kinds of plants need, because yeah, I don't know. Growing plants has never gone well for me in the past. <sighs> I love it here. I just like, for the past few days, I've just been wanting to basically be cooking or cleaning the kitchen all the time. The bus all of a sudden like feels done, like totally done. It's not, but it feels like it is. <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious from this video, but we did not even come close to meeting our deadline of when we were trying to move by. We were supposed to go on Sunday, it's now Wednesday. I'm still here. We're probably gonna end up leaving either this evening or tomorrow morning. I'm so excited, I'm nervous. It's been a long time since I've lived in this bus away from a relative's house for any significant period of time. But I just keep thinking about the state of the bus last year when I decided to start traveling and how much better it is now. And I just can't help think that this summer is gonna be better too, for lots of reasons. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Next time I see you guys, I will be finally, finally, finally hitting the road again. Yay.